Reef Bum is sponsored by Bulk Reef Supply and Ecotech Marine. Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. So in this video I want to talk about the brand spanking new GHL Doser 2.2 Maxi that I picked up just recently. But before I do that, if you want to help support the channel and pick up some SPS frags, you can do so at reefbum.com. And with that, let's get into the video. So first impressions of this product, very well built. It's German engineered, high quality construction, very similar to the build quality that one would expect with GHL. I own a couple of cage directors. I have some Proflux 4 controllers, some GHL doser 2.1 dosers, and yeah, similar build quality. What can you do with this? Well, you can do automatic water changes, you could use it for auto top off, and you could use it for regular dosing, but you could dose large amounts of liquid, and I'm gonna use it to dose cockwasser because I dose a ton of cockwasser for both of my systems. Currently, I use the GHL Doser 2.1, and it's dosing as we speak cockwasser. I've got two heads for um, set up to dose cockwasser on each system, and the, uh, the Doser 2.1 is just not really set up to handle dosing large amounts of liquid. The, um, you know, you gotta do constant maintenance on it. I've had to replace the rollers a few times, get in there and, and clean out all the dirt around the silicone uh, dosing tubes. So yeah, it, um, it's gonna be just so much easier for me to use the um, Doser 2.2 Maxi for that purpose. So I'm going to go get this thing set up. I've got an awesome spot right up here in this shelf. And once I get it installed, I'm going to come back and talk about the specifics of my install as well as some additional features. So the install is complete. And what I have done here is I've hooked this maxi doser into the Proflux 4 controller for my 225 gallon peninsula tank. So it is actually servicing not only that tank, that system, but the 187 gallon display tank as well. So that um, sump is right here. So what I have done is I've run four different sets of dosing tubes from this unit to the two different systems. So the pump head right here is servicing the 187 gallon display tank so that uh, tubing it's about a 25 foot run that goes over the door down the uh, side here snakes all the way over to this 30 gallon drum which is the drum that I use for the 187 gallon system and that system is um, also got a couple of frag tanks plumbed into it as well as the 60 gallon cryptic sump so overall we're talking about 446 total system gallons for this 187 gallon display tank so yeah i've got the tubing running from this 30 gallon drum with the cockwasser inside and you can watch my videos on cockwasser in terms of how i've um, set that up for dosing I think the name of it is going all in with cockwasser, something to that effect, but I explain in detail in terms of my method of dosing cockwasser. So yeah, and then the, um, the other tube in terms of the output tube, again, goes all the way around, up the door, down, and into the sump. For the 225 gallon peninsula tank, uh, another long run, so another long, um, probably 25 foot long run. And it's all the way in the back here. So I had to get creative. I ran out of space in this room. I had no room for a um, 30 gallon drum in this little corner right here or um, around this side of the sump. So I had to get a lit little creative, went all the way back into uh, this room and for those of you who have seen my videos on Cockwasser, you know that that's the, uh, the drum that I use for the Peninsula tank. And so I um, essentially ran the tubing to connect this 
drum to the uh, maxi doser coming all the way back out you know so it um, goes through the wall right here down around and uh, through that little channel behind this frag tank up to the maxi doser so as I mentioned before I, I, I had been using the doser 2.1 to dose cockwasser I've been using two heads so I had been using this P4 for the Peninsula tank just for dosing cockwasser for that system and I had been using the um, doser 2.1 connected to this P4 for this system so I am no longer using um, both of these heads for cockwasser for both dosers and what I've actually done here is I've hooked up some ESV alkalinity because there are times when my alkalinity will drop to a very well to a level that I'm not comfortable with sometimes it'll go down into the mid 7 range usually I like to have my alkalinity in the 8 to 9 DKH range if it goes down to 7.5 I will adjust my calcium reactor to boost up the alkalinity right here but sometimes it can't bump it up quick enough I could also adjust my cockwasser dosing but again it might not be quick enough so I figured you know what let me utilize one of these um, heads that are not being used for cockwasser anymore by hooking in a um, jug right here for alkalinity so I can hit it up real quickly if I'm not home you know remotely if I see that happening I'm on vacation I could uh, quickly add let's say 50 mls of the alkalinity to boost that up so I'm, I've got that actually set up for both systems again this head right here is hooked into the ESV alkalinity component I'm not um, worried about the calcium component on that this you know again it's it's gonna be a rare occasion when I do that so yeah that's the the setup that I have going on for the uh, maxi doser it's pretty cool that I could utilize both of these pump heads for both systems it uh, does make that nice long run it's been operational for me for about uh, a little over a week and it's had no problem um, doing the dosing the um, one thing I also want to mention with the uh, the dosing heads is that there are four different buttons that you can see here so button one is for this first dosing head button two is for that and buttons three and four if you're curious will uh, allow the each dosing head to go in reverse I haven't tried that yet but that's what the third and fourth buttons are for now if you're curious for my 187 gallon system I'm dosing which I mentioned is a 446 total system uh, volume I am dosing 7200 mls of cockwasser per day which is a lot so like I talked about before the doser 2.1 just was really really pushing it in terms of handling that amount and the same goes for the uh, as you can see right now it's dosing to both systems simultaneously because I also dosing 7200 mls per day for the 225 gallon peninsula tank so right now that is dosing to both systems and you know just quickly the reason why I'm dosing that amount is I'm trying to dose what I evaporate in a day on the revert reverse light cycle so I'm trying to jam in what I evaporate in a 24 hour period um, trying to jam that in overnight during the reverse light cycle and that's the key in terms of cockwasser dosing. A few things to note about the maxi doser: the uh, maximum flow rate is 320 mLs per minute. You can actually do micro doses of 0.1 mLs, so it's very precise. And you can do up to 150 doses per day. You can connect uh, magnetic stirrers, temperature sensor, level sensors. The uh, the uh, maxi doser comes as both a standalone doser, so no controller Proflux 4 is needed or as an extension doser which requires a P4 another standalone unit to control the doser 
The extension doser can accommodate two magnetic stirs, as does the standalone doser, but the standalone doser will also allow you to connect a temperature sensor as well as some level sensors. And yeah, so that's that's the deal with the Maxi doser. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Until next time, be safe and be well. Later.